and welcome to the very first episode of Little Bird's Bakery. I'm Little Bird. Today we're going to have a lot of fun. Today we're baking bagels, but not just any bagels. They're called honey bagels. So throw your towel across your shoulder and let's get started. Here's what you'll need. You'll need yeast, warm water, oil, white sugar, honey, brown sugar, salt, an egg, and bread flour. First, take out a large mixing bowl. Then, add one tablespoon of your yeast and one and one quarter cups of warm water. Use a wooden spoon to stir until all of your yeast has dissolved. Let's mix in the rest of it, shall we? Add three tablespoons of canola oil, three tablespoons of your white sugar, three tablespoons of your honey, yum! Two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon brown sugar, and one egg. Use a whisk to stir your ingredients until everything is combined. Here I have five cups of bread flour. Start by adding just one cup to your bowl. Use a whisk to stir in your flour to minimize clumps. Continue adding your flour one half cup at a time until a soft dough forms. I would switch to a wooden spoon though. It's a lot easier. The great thing about this recipe is that it's very versatile. You can do whatever you want with it. So if you'd like to add something, say blueberries or chocolate chips, now would be the time to do it while your dough is still somewhat liquidy. That way, whatever you add can be equally distributed within the dough. After about three to three and a half cups of your bread flour, your dough will have formed a sticky ball. This is your soft dough. Now here comes the rest of your flour. We are going to create a floured surface so that we can knead our dough. Pick up some of the flour in between your fingers. Let it sift through your fingers onto the table as you create one even layer. Here comes my favorite part, kneading your dough. Take your soft dough and turn it out onto your evenly floured surface. For those of you who don't know how to properly knead your dough, it's very simple. It uses a push-turn-fold motion. Use the heel of your hand to push into your dough. Turn it and fold it over. It's that simple. Push-turn-fold. Push-turn-fold. Continue this for about 8 minutes or until your dough is smooth and elastic. I bet your arms are getting tired now. It's been about eight minutes, and this is what your dough will look like. It's now smooth and elastic. By elastic, I mean if you push on the dough, it bounces right back up at you. After all that kneading, our dough needs to rest a little while. So take out your handy dandy dish towel and cover it up to keep it warm. Let your dough rest for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, your dough will have risen quite nicely. Start dividing your dough into 12 equal sized balls. They should look something like this. Now we get to make it look like a bagel. Take your thumb and press it into the center of your ball all the way through. Now, using your thumb and middle fingers, gently stretch the hole. Continue gently stretching it until it has reached about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. All this stretching really wears a bagel out, so let's let them rest for a little while. Get back your dish towel and let them rest for another 10 minutes. While your bagels are resting, let's take out a large pot. 
Go ahead and fill it up with 8 cups of water. Now that you have your water, let's go ahead and bring it to a boil. Turn your stove on high until the water just begins to boil. While we're waiting, let's preheat our oven to 425 degrees. Just before your water starts to boil, mix in 1 quarter cup of honey. When your water starts to boil, turn it down to a medium high heat. By now your bagel should be done resting, so go ahead and put them in the water one at a time and boil on each side for 45 seconds. When your bagels are done boiling, place them on a cooling rack over a dish towel or paper towels to cool and drain, and then continue with the rest of your bagels. Once your bagels are befittingly boiled, go ahead and prepare a large sheet pan with a sheet of aluminum foil. Use a cooking spray to generously grease your foil. You don't want those bagels to stick. Trust me. Now that your bagels are cooled, go ahead and place them on your sheet pan about two to three inches apart. Good thing we preheated that oven. Go ahead and place your bagels on the center rack of your oven and allow them to bake for six minutes. Now we need to flip our bagels. I like to use a fork. Flip each bagel so that they may bake on the other side for an additional five to six minutes, but be careful, don't let the bottoms get too brown. These bagels really are baking nicely, but there's still one more thing to do. Reduce your oven's heat to 415 degrees. Flip your bagels one more time and allow them to cook for an additional two to three minutes or until they turn a beautiful golden brown color. When you take your bagels out of the oven, they will look something like this. Mmm, oh boy, do they look good. Remove your bagels to cool onto a wire rack, but you might want to use a spatula. They're kind of hot. And here is the final product, cooled and ready to eat. The top and bottom are a beautiful brown color, and all around the sides is a gorgeous golden brown. And when you break it open, the inside should be soft and fluffy and cooked all the way through. Now you have a dozen beautiful bagels to share with your family. Or to share with yourself. Well, that's it. I hope you had as much fun today as I did baking these bagels. But now comes the even better part, eating them. These bagels are delicious, toasted with a little bit of cream cheese spread on top, or even better, a little bit of honey. <laughs> For this and more recipes and baking tips, you can visit my blog at little-birdsbakery.blogspot.com or click on the link in the description below. Thank you.